touch ya Versus coming daily under pressure Working on the plot and the scheme The true style trademark is at the edge of your dreams I'm talking one One shot for the kill The breeze cut freeze up Straight drop in the chills I'm talking Taking over pieces and shares A ball big sky high Check the movement is here Yeah Yeah It's one heart one shot Now the future is yours Go Turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry Your memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake You put the bars in the place I'm talking one One chance at best, yes Welcome to Eagle Vision for Friday, October 2nd, 2020 I'm Trent and today's top story features the September Teacher of the Month here at Horn Lake Congratulations to Mr. Algy for being chosen for September's Teacher of the Month EVTV caught up with Mr. Algy a few days ago to get to know him a little bit better. Where did you grow up? Well, I grew up in uh, Coldwater, uh, Mississippi, uh, out towards the Independence area. Uh, me and my family, we've lived there uh, going back probably about a hundred years now almost. Uh, it's where my family uh, has always been from. Uh, and so needless to say, I'm related to almost everyone in Tate County. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we just kind of grew up out in the country, out in the middle of nowhere, um, going hunting, fishing, uh, raising a garden and just going to school and going to work. So. Tell us about your family. So I'm the youngest of two brothers and a sister. Um, I all grew up, we're pretty spread apart as far as age. Um, but I was the youngest, uh, so um, uh, I was uh, the last to get to do anything, go anywhere. Um, but because I was the youngest, I also got away with a lot more. Um, my mom uh, and dad, my dad passed away when I was about 13. Um, but I had a very large family, uh, lots of aunts, uncles uh, on my dad's side. Uh, my dad was the youngest of, I believe, eight or nine brothers and sisters. Uh, so we had a lot of uh, aunts, uncles, cousins, uh, and we're all still very close. So, Tell us about your years in high school. Well, it started out, um, I was a bookworm, uh, kind of a loner. I, I didn't really hang out or associate with many people. Uh, but then I started doing football uh, and athletics and stuff, and eventually uh, I got into martial arts, which kind of led me into drama. Um, and so once I kind of got into drama and started kind of getting out of my shell and doing a lot more with other people and hanging out more, um, it was just a lot of fun, uh, uh, acting out occasionally. Um, we got into some trouble, but uh, for the most part, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. What was a pivotal moment in your teenage years? I think a pivotal moment uh, for me there was actually two. Uh, the first one is um, we got the opportunity to go see a production at Northwest of Shakespeare's Macbeth, and it was that production that really got me interested in. Uh, both theater, drama, uh, and stage combat because uh, there's a lot of fight scenes, a lot of sword play. And that's really what got me interested uh, in the theater. Uh, the second one would have to be I had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. Uh, for a week long uh, National Youth Leadership Conference and later the National Youth Leadership Forum of Law because uh, at the time I was considering going into law. Um, but after that experience, I, I kind of decided that theater uh, was where I would like to pursue uh, my career. Uh, and so that, those were really the two most pivotal points as far as uh, high school goes. What jobs did you have in high school? Well, I worked a lot of jobs. Um, uh, doing different stuff since I was about 10, uh, either working on some of the local farms, uh, either driving a tractor, 
uh, cotton picker working a uh, module builder, uh, which is uh, kind of what builds the big uh, square barrels of cotton uh, uh, that the cotton picker dumps into. Um, hauling firewood. Um, the first official job I had in high school was uh, I managed to get uh, into a summer work program uh, through Tate County Schools, uh, working over the summer uh, as a member of the janitorial staff that would go in, uh, strip and wax the floors, kind of clean up the buildings uh, and uh, all that. Uh, so that was my first official uh, tax paying job. Uh, the next one was uh, I helped, my brother had a restaurant in Independence uh, and I helped uh, bus and wait tables uh, and uh, that sort of stuff. What's the funniest thing that you can think of that happened to you in high school? The funniest thing uh, that happened uh, to me in high school was during a production of, uh, it was a staged adaptation of Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury. Uh, and I was playing the big boss character uh, and in one of the fight scenes um, one of uh, the young actresses uh, that I was supposed to come in and attack as the villain uh, punched me in the nose, uh, busted my nose, I was bleeding all over the stage. Uh, it kind of freaked her out but I was like just keep going and we finished the scene, uh, blood everywhere um, but that was, uh, looking back that was probably the most funniest moment <laughs> unfortunately. Tell us about your college experience. Uh, my college experience, uh, my first two years uh, when I was at Northwest, uh, I was working full time, so uh, I didn't really get an opportunity to experience the college portion uh, quite as much. Um, so after I would finish classes, I would go straight to work uh, and work full time till about 11 o'clock and then wake up and do it all again the next day. Uh, once I finally got to Southern Miss and Hattiesburg, uh, I had a lot more uh, time to kind of uh, enjoy the college experience. Uh, I was kind of the crazy one uh, in our group, uh, doing a lot of uh, stupid stuff uh, that looking back I probably shouldn't have had. Um, but it was a fun experience. Uh, I made a lot of friends, networked with a lot of people, uh, a lot of, uh, even my professors. You know, my professors were awesome, uh, and I still talk to them and get their advice today. How did you choose the college you attended? Well, choosing Northwest uh, was a bit of a given, uh, uh, being right there in Coldwater, just about 15 minutes down the road from it. Uh, I also had uh, quite a few grants and scholarships, so uh, to go to Northwest, I was actually getting paid uh, to go. Uh, and so the money that I was actually getting paid to go to Northwest, I saved up to help pay for tuition at uh, the University of Southern Miss. Um, so that was kind of a given uh, as far as Northwest went. Uh, in choosing Southern Miss, um, we had the opportunity while we were at Northwest to see several theater conferences where the, uh, the different universities of the state would bring in different shows and produce them uh, in kind of a competition. Um, and Southern Miss and the W uh, was probably the uh, top two. Uh, and I chose Southern Miss. Uh, they edged out the W uh, a little as far as uh, production quality. Uh, so that's how I made my decision. Uh, I'm also uh, currently in grad school uh, online at Rowan University in uh, New Jersey. Uh, enjoying that, I got about one more semester uh, before I'll have my master's. Uh, so that's uh, uh, encouraging, so. How did you choose your future profession? Did you originally plan on being a teacher? Uh, I have um, always enjoyed the theater, uh, enjoyed uh, doing different stuff. Uh, I've worked in all of the various areas from acting on stage uh, to directing, choreographing, uh, designing. Um, and so I've always wanted to be involved with the theater. It's my art. It's what I'm passionate about. Uh, as far as teaching goes, I always knew I wanted uh, to be a teacher. I wasn't sure what that would look like, uh, whether it would be high school, elementary, college, or having my own studio. Um, uh, I've always been interested in sharing uh, my knowledge and what my passion about uh, theater uh, because it is what I love. And so getting uh, to share that uh, with uh, up and coming students who also may uh, find passion in that is is pretty awesome. What's something outside of school that you're passionate about? 
Um, stage combat uh, is my number one passion. Uh, I, I really enjoy uh, the art of storytelling through violence on stage. Um, outside of that, it's anything outdoors, uh, hunting, fishing, gardening, hiking, kayaking, pretty much anything you can do outside, disc golf, um, I love it all. Uh, any opportunity to be outside, be out uh, in nature uh, is thrilling for me. Tell us something you've always dreamed of doing, something on your bucket list. Um, dreamed about doing uh, skydiving, uh, something I've always wanted to try, uh, haven't had the opportunity, uh, but fortunately uh, my oldest brother uh, for his birthday in November we're actually uh, chartering a flight and are going skydiving, so that should be interesting. <laughs> What's something students might not know about you? I'm not really sure, uh, I'm, I'm pretty open. Um, I enjoy weapons, uh, training, sparring. Um, I, I think I counted up. Um, I'm pretty fluent in about 13, 14 different weapon styles. Um, like I said, I, I studied martial arts uh, younger, uh, and so I've kind of dabbled uh, in various forms. Um, uh, yeah, I enjoy weapons, <laughs> I guess, um, uh, and their safe use. What's something you love about this school? The camaraderie. Uh, everyone is more than willing to help out. Uh, both each other, you know, the administration, the, the other teachers are always available uh, if you need anything. Uh, always welcoming uh, uh, if you need advice or help with anything. And also the the commitment to the students um, going far beyond what you may consider the norms to making sure that our students have everything they could possibly need, all the help that they could want uh, to really be successful and achieve their goals. I think that is, that is um, pretty awesome. I love that. Tonight we have a home football game against DeSoto Central. Last Friday night, Trent Condor had three rushing touchdowns and one passing touchdown. Janoris Hobson had 180 yards receiving and 175 yard touchdown. Jamario Harris had two rushing touchdowns and 80 yards rushing. Rondarius Wright and Erwin Reed both had receptions. Levante Hodges had 70 yards rushing and Jamal Moore had 50 yards rushing. Final score, Horn Lake 41 and Lewisburg 13. We need a lot of student support tonight as we face the Jags. Come out, bring your mask, and let's social distance and support our Eagles. That homework last night was so much fun. Man, my parents give me way too much. I can't wait to go to sleep at seven o'clock tonight. It's now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, we are moving fast. Students, those of you who are virtual, will have tutoring options available to you on Wednesdays afternoons. Tutoring will be from 2.45 p.m. to 2.15 p.m. You must let your teachers know if you plan on attending the sessions via Schoology no later than 2 p.m. each Wednesday. Virtual tutoring will take place through the Teams app, allowing you to have live lessons with the teachers. Traditional students here in the building also have tutoring options on Monday afternoons. Be sure to sign up in the cafeteria on Mondays during lunch if you plan on attending the sessions. You can also talk with your teachers if you're interested in signing up. Your counselors will be doing power lunches on Tuesdays. Look for your table set up in the commons during your lunch. Get your power school logins, ACT fee waivers, college application fee waivers, and answer quick questions. You have to do this during lunch before you are dismissed. You are not able to do this on the way to class. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake. We are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Yeah, I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme. The true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one. One shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop in the chills I'm talking, taking over pieces and shares of all big sky high, check the movement is here, yeah, yeah, it's one hard one.
one shot, now the future is yours Go! I'm turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the bars in the place I'm talking one one chance at best, yes Painting princes for the culture, keep the brushes fresh Flip the cover, work the drum, a passion never rests Freedom is our teacher, under pressure, now we bless See, I was so good for the go It's one art, one shot, now the future is yours, go! Yeah, it's one art, one shot, now the future is yours, go!